Welcome back to the Bricks. We're still in the NBA. We're gonna turn to the Western side of things and, and preview the Western Conference. You know, in in the playoff push. I mean, West side is the best side. West side, <laughs> West side is the best side. I mean, um, the Lakers, man, really came through. You know, beating what a game. Heat. Yeah, great, great game. It was a great way to end the, the regular mm -hmm. season. It's been a, it's been a while since you really had the yeah. games come the, the conference is really being decided in the last game of the, you know what I'm saying where it had real significance to that last yeah. game so I think the NBA did a good job of actually scheduling that oh yeah they know and, what they was doing and, yeah and it played out you know perfectly for them you know and the Lakers man they dodged that they dodged that bullet and they got the San Antonio Spurs but really did they really you know dodge, dodge a bullet to just run into a bat though so I mean, what what you think about that series? How you how you see them, you know, handling and tackling the Spurs? The, the lucky thing with them again, like you said, they dodged OKC. Mm -hmm. That that's not a good matchup for them. Yeah. You 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 taking on the San Antonio team, who's who's unfortunately they they on the downspin. Mm -hmm. You know, Popovich is just saying, you know, he don't know what his team is doing. You know, they ain't got their head right. Yeah. Duncan looks like the only one really that's trying to play. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you know, Parker's still dealing with that foot injury, man, mm -hmm. and Ginobili hamstring issues. They yeah. cut Steven Jackson, bring mm -hmm. T Mac. T Mac. T Mac. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> he don't, the, I mean, you know, when you reaching back <laughs> and grabbing T Mac, this is not like when they grab, you know, Steven yeah, Jackson, yeah. or this is not like when they holding on to Bruce Bourne. I mean, you going back to pulling T Mac. And the thing that makes it so crazy is he They signed Yao Ming, too. Oh. I mean, oh, I mean, they getting man. pretty, pretty desperate, man. They wanted to recreate the new twin talk, man. They going oh, way man. back. Listen, I mean, man. how did they find that number? Listen, listen, man. I'm telling you, T-Mac is only 33 people. Listen, but if T-Mac gets healthy, he can give you something. Mm. He can give. Now, I'm gonna tell you, like I said though, with the thing with the Lakers, mm. I'm gonna much rather play this team and then this, than OKC. OKC is young, athletic. You gotta worry about Durant Westbrook. Yeah. To I, me, they have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Defense. You can't be scared about this team. You you gotta feel like you're ready, man. Feed the beast with the white. Mm hmm And Gasol, you know they can buy him for 38 rebounds. Yeah. Night. And that's that beautiful. Something. But yeah. the thing is, why wait till your best player yeah. is dead on the sideline Literally. before you step up and play the way that you play? Steve Blake having 23, 24 point nights, and you know. I, that the Lakers man is really you know just a confusing team. So I really I, I don't know what you're gonna get from so that team. You don't know team, what that man. series is gonna. Be I don't like. know what that series is gonna be like. I feel like it's an even series. That I feel like it's an even series. Neither team toss has an advantage. Okay. Definitely a toss up. But um, you know what? I mean, what what's another game of interest that you see in, in the Western? Man, side when of I seen Denver and Golden State, mm -hmm. I said okay, that's that to me is gonna be. The best series in the Western Conference. That's going to be AAU. The most steroids. exciting, yeah. you know, because you talking about two of the hottest, you know, the most up-tempo teams in mm -hmm. the league. They like mm -hmm. to score a lot of points, get up and down the court. Yeah. You know, you got Ty Lawson running things from mm -hmm. Reed out there running. You got mm -hmm. Dollar. Yeah. They got the best home court record in the league. Yeah. But then, I, I'm sorry, man. I like the Warriors, man. I'm, I'm a fan of Steph Curry. I'm that team. He broke the single season, single season record for threes of the night. Yeah. He can hoop. I mean, yeah. the dude. It's nasty. Yeah. Off the dribble, pull up. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, think the he, team do a great job of, of, of having things so that to allow them to play they yeah, need to play. Man. But Denver, seeing them run around and seeing those guys, I think that adding Andre Iguodala to that mm -hmm. to that team, man, they thought they would have this type of explosive team when they had when they got Andre Miller to, a couple years ago, and they was looking for it to be like that run and gun, mm -hmm. and him to make it, you know, yep. that that shoot press, that that yep. you know what I'm saying, that quick trigger yep. for that offense. But man, they with that. With that lineup that they have there, man, I think they have a lot more potential even defensively, mm -hmm. too, to take it mm -hmm. to another level. I feel like Denver, man, haven't hit their stride yet. So I feel you like got Denver that's, winning. That is, that is my dark horse what? team in the entire conference. You know, a lot of people think they're almost like the old four Pistons. It's mm -hmm. not really like a true superstar mm -hmm. type guy. Yeah. But they just play well together, and everybody. Mm. Oh, they but they got well. some. They got some they stars do. now, do. though. I mean, I they, like Lawson. Like yeah, I they, Lawson. yeah. I mean, you got Faree. I mean, a guy that can run. I mean, you mm -hmm. got Andre Iguodala out there doing. Man, you got some nice pieces. And people forget man. about Wilson Chandler too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got some nice young players, and they, and they look like 
it, I mean, it confuses you and make you look like they just rolling out the balls and they really just out there right. playing. But I think they really just having fun playing yeah. carefree, man. Yeah. No weight on their shoulder, man. They just out there yeah. playing ball. They hooping. They out there just running right now. And, and it looked good to me, man. I'm, I'm really excited. That's going to be a very exciting series. Very, very exciting series, man. But um, OK, OK, see, man. Still, still, do they still look as invisible as they did? I mean, you see what James Harden did for, for Houston. Yeah. I feel like that was a big, a lot of people thought that it wouldn't be that much of a drop off with the whole Kevin Martin thing in the beginning of, the, of it, but man, it, it looks like they really look vulnerable for the first time, man. And yeah. Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant still haven't got it together. That listen, little bro, it's Durant option one and Russell number two. They uh, people people may think this this series may be a wash, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly think Houston go get them some problems. Mm -hmm. That that can go six or seven. Mm -hmm. I still gonna take OKC to win it, mm -hmm. but that that's gonna be a closer series than people think. Mm -hmm. I think James Harden is actually itching. I, he, I know he ain't scared of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. The only problem mm -hmm. is you know Jeremy Lin, man. He I'm not. He might he might get worked on like yeah and get exposed because he 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 still that jumper. Still got to work on that Jay consistently, and his handle is just not there, man. You know, as quick as Westbrook is, he going to be... J Jeremy Lin, Lin Sanity to me, but on the other end, I think it's crazy. If you you relying on Jeremy Lin when it comes to playoff time... I'm just saying he going to have to help Harden out, and I don't see it happening. No, I don't see it. No, James Harden can't beat that team by itself. I think I feel like James Harden is going to get you two games where you can... I That's feel like I feel like it it'll go to six. Yeah, I think it'll go to six. Yeah. Definitely go to six. But but as far as winning the series, nah, I don't, yeah. I don't yeah, see it. Yeah, no, no. I I don't see Houston. I, I see it actually being pretty easy. You know, Harden gonna do his thing True. and you know handle the rest. Jeremy Lin, yeah, right. Come on now, <laughs> that's not happening. So I mean, that's all I feel about that, man. But um, what do you, you see as the matchup coming out of out of the West? If we gonna, ha if I had to pick the last two to, to the the West Finals, mm -hmm. like I said, man, I'm taking I'm taking Golden State, man, as my dark horse. Oh. I got Golden State, no, okay, see. Going to say okay, see. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm pretty much on the same wagon. I'm, I'm like I told you, Denver. I think is my dark horse. I'm taking Denver, OKC, okay, okay. and the whole, whole thing to, okay. to come out of the West. But um, we'll be back. Ken Boyer, Mike Lewis, broadcast from VPR Studio. It's the Bricks.